We are going to do some sun salutations today. If you're not familiar with sun salutation and you need something a little bit slower to break it down a little bit, you know, step by step, then this video may not be the best video for you for today. If you're already familiar with sun salutation, then this will be absolutely perfect. But please do check it out, see what you think. Um, if you need more in-depth instruction on each part of this sequence, do let me know and I'd be happy to make another video for that. So let's get started with our sun salutations. Remember, we want to take a moment to be present in our body, to relax, to breathe. Be aware of how you're feeling physically, mentally, emotionally, energetically today. Get into the zone before we begin. Then we want to go to the top of our mat, top and center, beginning with forward bend. So I have another video that I published recently on forward bend and different ways to adapt a forward bend. You might be interested in taking a look at that, or at that even. So, hands together in prayer position. Standing tall, four corners of your feet taking the weight. So try not to lean back on the heels or forward on the toes. Exhale to prepare. Inhale, stretch up. Gently back as you push your hips forward. Exhale, reach forward, 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 and then down. Stop when you feel the resistance. Maybe it's here, here, or in the back. Breathe, move around a little bit. So on this first run, this first round, we're going to move a little more slowly and get the body all warmed up. Okay, if you can't touch your fingers to the, to the floor, that's okay. You maybe need to bend your knees. But we're going to bend the knees now anyway to bring knuckles or fingertips beside the toes and bring the right foot back as far as you can on your mat. Drop the knee down onto the floor, toes out behind you, and move your body forward so that you move into this warrior position. Careful that your knees over your foot or ankle, not further ahead. You may need to scoop your foot forward if you end up in a position like this, because it's a lot of pressure on the ankle and on the knee. Bring it forward. So this is our warrior. If you like to settle into it, more of the yin style of yoga, take your time, wiggle a little bit, feel free. Otherwise, just hold. Bring that foot back to meet the other one. Stretch out as if you're going to sit into child's pose. And then bring yourself forward. We want to end up lying down on the mat. You can use chaturanga or simply bring yourself to lie down gently. For chaturanga, be really careful of your back. It's not recommended for everybody. I'm going to do it from knees here. We want to keep the elbows low, keep the back straight. We come into a position like so and gently down. Okay, from here we go into cobra. So the most intense cobra, hands beside the chest, roll your shoulders back. Inhale, scoop up. Feet are together, relax your lower body. Let the hands push you up a little bit higher. We're not looking to lift completely up. Keep the elbows tucked in. Inhale, uh, push a little more. Exhale, roll down. Keep looking up, belly down. And chest down, then nose down. If that's too strong, I'm going to show you another way next time around. Up onto hands and knees, we go into downward dog now. Toes under at the back. Inhale, push your bum into the air. Exhale, push back. As you push back, heels go towards the floor. Tailbone goes high. Head and chest go through the arms. Walk the dog. As if we're walking on the spot. Push one heel to the floor, bend the other knee. Swap. Nice and slowly, usually a lot slower than you think. Okay, now we're going to lift the right foot into the air and then bring that foot in between the two hands to go back into your warrior pose. Scoop your foot forward if necessary. Knees down at the back, toes are relaxed at the back. Chest forward. Warrier, so we want to be tall and proud with the forehead. Next 
next we go back into our forward bend. Toes under at the back. So lift that knee up. Bring the two feet together. Stretch. Take your time to move around a little bit. Notice if your body has already loosened a little bit. Nine hats. And then we're going to roll up. So now we go loose like a rag doll. Round your back. Roll up nice and gently. We want to make sure we're still in the top and centre of the mat. And we start again. Inhale up and back. Exhale forward and down. Go for it. Stop when you feel the resistance. Move around gently. Breathe. Okay, this time, when we bend the knees and put the hands on the mat, we're taking the left foot back. Now, if you land somewhere like this, just remember you're going to have to hop back a bit more. Knee down on the mat, toes out behind you, push forward. So the idea is that we get the stretch here, and we don't want the knee going ahead of the toes. Keep your back straight. Try not to end up in a position like this. Always, always, posture, posture, posture. Breathe. Okay, bring that foot back till you feel it. Push back as if you're going to go into child's pose. Take your time. Stay here for a bit if you like. And then we move forward. Chaturanga if you like, or simply move your body forward like so. That's absolutely fine too. Relax your lower body. Feet together, knees together. More gentle way to do cobra if you like. Hands overlapping. Underneath where your nose is. Keep your shoulders rolled back and away from your ears. Inhale, scoop up. So lift your chin, lift your chest. Let the muscles in your back do the work. And when they can't lift you any higher, use the hands to push. Keep the shoulders rolled back. Look up, inhale. Exhale, come down. Keep looking up. Belly first, then chest, then nose. Downward dog is next. So we need to place the hands beside the chest. Roll the shoulders back, keep the elbows tucked in. Toes under. Inhale, push up. Exhale, push back. Pushing your heels to the floor, tailbone high, head and chest through the arms. Walk the dog again. Be careful if you have sleepy hands. It's very warm where I am. My hands are sweating and I'm sliding a little bit. So just be careful. Lift the right left foot this time. And we're left foot in between the two hands. And don't forget if you land somewhere like this, you're just going to scoop that foot forward. So you're in the correct position. Toes out behind you. Most people find that with a bit more momentum, it's easier to get this foot into the correct position. But don't worry if it doesn't happen. It's very common. Toes under at the back, lift the knee, two feet together, and into forward bend again. Keep your back straight, keep your shoulders rolled back a little. It is impossible to fold your back or bend your back if you have your shoulders back. It's not possible to do. So a little bit of movement to stretch out your body and then it looks like a right dog and roll up. Let's go for one more round. Top and center. Inhale, stretch up and back. Exhale, forward and down. Let's keep going. Bring the right foot back into warrior. If you like, you can lift up the torso. Don't move your weight. Keep it here. Inhale, up with the arms. Exhale, down. Bring the foot back to meet the other one. Push back. Stretch out your arms. Come forward, ready for your uh, cobra. So that could be with your chaturanga again, if you like. Inhale, scoop up. Shoulders back. Exhale, roll down. Toes under at the back. Inhale, push up. Exhale, push back. We're on the right side again. So, right foot into the air. Then bring that foot in between the two hands. And change your position if necessary, if you didn't land there. Remember, you can bring the torso up if you like. This is optional. Don't lose the stretch. Two 
two feet together again for our forward bend. Roll up and let's go again. Top and center of the mat. Inhale up and back. Exhale forward and down. Bend your knees. Left foot goes back. Another adaptation we can make is to keep the knee high. Inhale up. <laughs> and exhale down. Two feet back. Push your bum back. Bring yourself onto the mat. Ready for cobra. Remember, you can do more gentle cobra if you prefer. And it may be that some days you prefer to do it that way and other days not. Depends on how you're feeling each day. Downward dog. Left foot into the air. Bring yourself back into whichever variation of warrior you like. Two feet together. Roll up. And you can keep going or you can finish with a little salute to the sun. Bringing the hands to the heart. Relax. And then shake it out. Okay, so as I said, if that's a little bit too much, let me know. And I can do another video breaking down each part. Okay? We often do this sequence in class too. So if you would be interested in joining us for live streamed classes, uh, we have class every week. Tuesdays and Thursdays. So get in touch if that's something that would interest you. It's online, so wherever you are in the world, it's uh, available for you. And I would love to hear in the comments how you found this sequence. Thank you and bye for now.